All right, good afternoon, Ballers United. I'll go ahead and look at our film study, showing y'all how I look at film and stuff. Uh, might be a little bit long. You don't have to watch the whole thing. We might not watch the whole uh, game as well, too, but just some minor stuff that we want to clear up and that y'all can look at as well. Go ahead and play. This is the first play of the game. We got, uh, we run an X, X. On X, we're supposed to have, uh, uh, if we pass to the guard, we're supposed to have a screen in the middle first. So we call an X. All right, sorry about that. So we got the pass to the guard. Well, point guards need to come down the seam right here. So that way the big right here can set this solid screen. We have our uh, four over here in the corner, which is a man on here. And so what I want the point guard to do is, we looking at the ISO, this man back here, not him right here, man behind, you can't really see him. But if he's tight on the four, then you want to try to squeeze down this seam right here so you have an easy layup to the basket. But we didn't uh, get down this seam. Also, the backside guard, if you didn't get the ball passed to you, you don't want to come to this middle right here. You want to stay out here so that'll leave space for the other guard with the ball. So we get that. We didn't get the seal screen right here that we needed to, but now you can see this defender right here on the four. This defender was squeezed tight. We got a screen set on this man right here that was on the point guard. That lane would have been cleared for an easy layup. But right here, we're going to get a good seal with the big. All right. Well, the man that's on the free throw. And this man comes flat-footed. Right here, we got to attack their shoulder. This guard was wrong. We should not be coming to the top. We should stay wide and try to get to the corner. All right. So we got the seal right here, which was good. The reason why this play was busted is, like I said, the guard came up to the top, bringing this defender right here. We don't want to bring that defender right there because this big is flat-footed right now. I'm going to trust the guard to beat this big right here, attack this shoulder right here because you already got the ball in your right hand. If we can move this guard, this point, this shooting guard over, or small forward, whoever the guard is, over to create that space in the middle. Right here, we got a good solid screen with the point guard. He got a screen right here. Also, we should have went ahead and passed it. Right here, we got to keep our eyes down the court. Right here, all right, or try to squeeze to get that passed in. The four, the uh, corner man did a great job finding himself around. Good play. We just got to get it. We got to get it. All right. Right here, we bail out. We never stop. Never pull up your dribble. All right. Never pull up your dribble. All right. Way to keep moving. Bust and play, but we kept going. That was a weak handoff. All right. Good way to see my man down low. Go straight up. We good. We in box, box, box. All right. We immediately box. All right. We need to go ahead and get in our box set. We ran too late. We need to go ahead and get it set up quick. All right. We set up in box. Uh, guard right here. You move too quick. Got to wait for the uh, inbounder to slap the ball before we start moving. Okay. We got us a seal. That's good. All right. Point guard, push your man there to seal across. But when you seal your man, make sure you at least touch this man right here. So that way the four can come around. And then we got an easy layup to the bus bucket. All right. That was a, a good seal. All right. Right here. Coming through the middle. When you come through the middle, you're supposed to flare out and get to this corner. We was really in the wrong set because the point guard is supposed to be on this side. All right. And the shooting guard on this side because we're trying to get the shooting guard to get to this middle right here and a point guard to get over here. All right. So you get to the middle, that's good. But we ran it the wrong way. See the point guard is making his way to this corner. We don't the big the person inbounder can't see this corner over here. So we actually ran it opposite. We're supposed to run it the other way, where this guard would trail to the corner, this guard would come to the top. Alright, we're good seal. We're finished. 
All right, we're in our press. All right, good. We're going to sit back on our press. On this press, we want the top man, the point man, whoever the point man is, to be on the hip. Right here, we are going to be patient because he dribbling. But sometimes we're going to go against uh, offense that is going to throw the ball instead of trying to dribble through the press. But if we get a guard that likes to dribble a lot, we want to be on the hip. Way to sink back. All right, automatically. Good, I see Bryson. Where the backside guard is getting to the middle. See that skip pass is going to get there. The reason why the skip pass is going to get there is because this point man need to push more this way. All right, let him give all this space to get over here, then we'll trap. All right, then you close in. Right here, you in front of him. Okay, see how you in front of him? Technically, all right, that's going to make him cross to get to his other side. We don't want to get to the other side. We want this point man to get right here on his hip to keep him from changing directions. We want to keep the ball on this side. If they throw it over top of our head, hey, that's fine. I'll live with it. But we can't allow them to dribble to the other side. See right there, he was able to change directions, move to the other side. All right, the, the guard picked it up. We went ahead and trapped it. It was a blown coverage. We just played aggressive, trap it, that's good. So now when we trap it, we still got to be in that press. All right, on this trap, I like how we went to man. We transitioned from a zone to a man. We seen this man, we seen it all, we's looking at all the passing lanes. Somebody is open, but this guard can't see it because we have our hands up. The other guard, you need to have your hands up. We got to be an elite. You got to have your hands up, okay? Right here, we do ball. We see in ball and man, okay? I look, it look more ball watching to me, but we see ball and man. We get there, okay? Right here, um, if it's an elite team, um, I really, I mean, as long as we jump in the pass and getting it, but if we're not there, they're going to beat us. So we got one, two, three, four. Somebody must be covering the basket, which would be good. So they got one, two, three. So that means it must be two people down here, all right, that we leaving open if that point guard can see it. All right, but we got to keep our hands up, and they can't see it. Right on it, we good. All right, the next play, we're going we to run X again. All right, we're going to run X again. This time... The backside guard is going to be correct. First of all, we got to make sure we're in our right positions, too. The first time we saw Bryson was over here, Caden was over there. Okay? We still we did run the play right. All right? We ran the play right, which was good. And we knew exactly what to do, when to do it. All right? But right here, we got to know. All right? We got the pass to the guard. The point man that passes. I want you to run into this defender's chest to get to the big, to the center man right here. Not gonna say big, but anybody that's running this position right here. We have to seal right here. We have to seal. Caden, he's looking across for Bryson, but you need to be looking for this cut right here. That's the first option. The first option is this cut on X. We got a seal. Right here with the big, with the uh, free throw man, the top man. Well, considered a big, all right, even though I know we got all guards. Seal right here with a good screen so we can get through there. Okay, we didn't seal. We missed the seal. So the big is reading the screen. So when you see the big defender, sorry, he's reading the screen. He sees that he's coming right here. So... What we're going to do is when we can read this big, we can do a slip screen. So, Zay, you can set the screen, but then slip right here. And with that being said, Kaden, you can throw the ball to Zay. But what we want to do is we want to attack. We don't want to stop. Right here, this defender got a good position instead of being in the base position like last time. Right here, we want to attack the rim. See right there, we got a good seal. He went under the screen. That's good. The screen wasn't set, but under the screen. All right, we got the screen with the point guard. It wasn't a good seal like it was last time because they already done read the play. Uh, they picking up on the play. But this big is still flat-footed. With this big being flat-footed, we have to beat him to the rim. He's too far away from the goal for us not to beat him to the rim. 
He's probably like four or five feet away from the three-point line. So on this seal, we got to attack. See, he's sliding his feet. Good defense. But we got to keep attack. Keep attack. Drop your shoulders and attack. And then bring it. All right. Right here, we got a handoff. Okay. This is what I want to see from anybody at the free throw. If the four is in that position, if the one is in that position, see that. What we don't want to do is we don't want to back up. Okay? So this man do see you. I see his eyes looking at you. All right? But we got the guard going to attack this lane right here. This lane is open to attack, but I need you to get backside to this box. So as soon as he attack right here, he beat him off the dribble. All right? So then, you go ahead and flow to the corner. It look like you got hurt. Flow to the corner right here. That's going to bring this man. It's going to bring his attention and his attention. When the attention get back, we have to slip back door right here. We have to get right here. If you're there, you have to get right here. So when he attack, see the attention he got right here? If you he was right here, you would have got positioned in front of this man. He could have passed you the ball and you could have went up, okay? But do not settle for this floater right here. Attack all the way to the rim. Okay, moving in transition. The transitional defense. Make sure that y'all looking at this film and pausing it just like I pause it. And see the lanes. Actually see it. Okay, we move to a high 3-2 instead of covering the middle. That's fine, we're traveling the ball. Okay, Caden, if you do get way over there, well, that's our guard. You get way over there. We are losing this. Okay, you did cover middle, which was good. Ball got inbounded. All right, ball got inbounded. Getting back to our spot. That's good. You said it? Good. Hey, that's good patient offense. Good patient offense. Jay come up and set the screen. We missed the roll. Jay set the screen. That's the roll right there. It's there. We got to see that. Screen, roll. He rolled perfectly. That was perfect. We got to see that. Either attack quicker. The roll was there. The roll was there all day. This man looking at over here, he's not even seeing what's going on. This man is beat. We got to get rid of the ball. We got to get rid of the ball. It was open. That screen and roll was there. Hey, way to go up and go help him, Jay. Hey, that's some, that's some teammate stuff we need to start doing, too, helping each other up, too. Giving each other a high five and free throws. All right, we in box. We got two, we got two of our four and five position on the wrong side. We got our guards on that side. All right, so we didn't run the play right. I saw you. I guess I'm assuming you saw an adjustment. You give, hey, you playing big against the big. I like that. I like that. The point guard went back. Sometimes we might not be able to run the play. Sometimes, like I said in practice before, if we messing up, at least we mess up at 100%. All right. Well, not messing up at 100%, but going 100% even though we messed up. This posting them up, I want to see more of this right here. Get your hips low, post them up. All right, give them the ball. Give them the ball. Don't hesitate. You got the ball in here, give it to him. Give it to him. Set it up. Kind of over dribbled a little bit on that one. Box, box, box. Clear, 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 clear. On this, we got to clear. All right? We clear. One of y'all got to get to the other side because y'all know our point guard is left-handed. So we're going to run an ISO. We need to clear the left side. 
All right, we need to clear. So if we clear, we need to clear the left side. We can have one over here, but y'all two need to be over here, this side. All right, or point guard, we got to be able to go both ways. You see that this side is dominant. Hit the right side. You got to be able to go to the right we, instead of going to the left. Right there, you should have got him. Look, his ankles look like they about to twist. You got to go to the right. He's giving you the right lane. He's not giving you the left. His foot is already back. Beat him on the first step to the right. He had, he had help over there to the left. Come on, we got to make those. Outside for some reason. Gotta go inside. No, that's right. Outside. Caden do go outside. Outside, then come back in. But really, we're gonna change it. If you're on the same side of this ball, you wanna go inside to curl out. Okay, inside to curl out. All right. Zay will get outside. All right. Backside, away from the ball. We got inside. Inside, and then he'll curl. All right, good. We got the somewhat of a seal. We should have sealed that a little bit better right here. He posting it. He he blocking Zay out. That's fine. It's a lot of attention over here. But we seal this. You got a little shoulder on them. But if we can seal this better, it's already there. All right. Already there. See, look at the frame. Frame by frame. Everybody's moving. Okay, but instead of moving this way, point, you need to be moving this way. Instead of moving this way, Kaden, you need to be moving this way. All right, get to the vision. All right, we didn't have that seal. That's why they got the block. That's why they got the steel. All right, keep dominating. Okay. We immediately, we can't wait. We got a score. We walk to the press. No. We get a score. Bucket automatically jump into the press. Stop walking. All right, we jogging. See, the ball done been established over there. Where do we need to be? Instead of ball watch, we need to get to our spot. Where is my uh, forward? It's supposed to be right here. All right, because when he pushed to the middle, you got to have somebody on this side. We got the trap, it worked. And the reason why we got that trap, all right? Remember earlier I told you about staying on the hill. Look how far back you away from his hill. You let him run to the trap, that's fine. Earlier, you was beating him. You was in front of him. But when you stay behind, look where you at. When you stay behind, see, you on his hill. Close out a little bit more, not too far behind. He can't throw the ball back. See, right here. When he snatched back, you was in his face. There's nothing he can do. When he snatched back, you was in his face. Right here, there's nothing he can do when we play the right position. Only thing is, we missing somebody over the top. He throw it over the top, we don't have nobody right there. Okay? Bryson, get in the middle some more. Get in the middle some more. Cut off everything. Couldn't do nothing. We got to finish that. What you supposed to call right here? Alert, alert, alert. All right. Got in there. 
He got the steal. All right, right here. All right, here, we got two people coming on us. All right. Two people attacking the rim, but two people is defending the rim right here. So what you want to do is alert, 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 and then throw it back. Throw the basketball back. Good defense. Put your hands up, Dave. We got a box out somewhere. Good. Stay on his hip. See, you stay on his hip. He can't go nowhere. He went ahead and so we don't put a lot of pressure on the point guard. Okay? So when they start passing the ball that quick, we got to look for quick passes. So what they're going to do is they're going to get a ball, but then they're going to run through this seam to try to get our point man off balance. When that ball is established here, the backside guard got to automatically go middle. He's going to go around. And give it right to him. Gotta play better defense. Gotta play better defense. Call foul. You call foul, but you take. You call foul, but you didn't set nothing up. You said five, five, five. Okay. On the play. All right, why did he get to the bucket? Why did he get to the bucket? All right, right here we got our two trails. Right here. All right, go ahead and get into your spot and sit. All right, point guard got in front of him. That's good. You got to stop ball watching, get to this middle. All right, we got another trail. All right, hurry up and get back. We got to play good defense. Right here, there's nobody behind us, so we need to squeeze, squeeze. All right, make sure nobody get into that lane. Squeeze first, pass second. All right, squeeze it, uh, squeeze. Right here, make sure nobody go through the middle to go score. And then you can close out. See, right there, too much dribbling. Step down, step down, step down. All right, step down. Sorry, I'm going to take the phone call. All right, let's look at X again. Uh-oh. What's going on? Hey, are you home, man? Yeah. Hey, I was on man, and I dropped my car wife off to the shop. Can you pick me up, man? Yeah, just send me the address. All right, man. I'll let... It's going to take me about 40 minutes to get back over there. That's fine. And I'll send you, my, send you the address when I'm at. Okay, bet. All right. All right. All right, we run an X right here. Sorry for that phone call. 
calling XXX. All right, we ran this play earlier because we're not getting it to the middle. All right, we get we got it to the guard. We gotta have a seal. We have a seal right here. This big done picked up on it, so he's not going to chase the screen no more. So when they go under, we got to make them pay. The big right here on defense did not come up and pressure the ball. So right there, you a shooter. Shoot the ball. Under the screen. We didn't even see a lonely thing. We got to stay true to what we do. Y'all right there? It was no seal. None. But what happened is the big on defense went over there. All right. We should have attacked the rim. We had a seal right here, though. Good seal, point guard. See, you got him on the shoulder right here. It's a good seal. It's there all day. Somebody run man defense on us. This play right here, we, can, we got too many... Places we can score. We can score the ball anywhere. We can go ahead and pass right here for the screen and curl. We can go ahead and do the screen right here and attack. We can do a jump shot. We can kick it to the other. Um, we can attack and then kick it for a jump shot with another guard. We can do a lot. Oh. It was late. They go under the screen. You got to shoot. This is just a lazy defense. During the roster. And we and Chris. They did have 17 chances. If we get this ball, that's good. If we can get this ball, boom. There go the guard right there. Because this man already got his back turned. We got the guard cutting right there. That's perfect. Cut when you see a hey, perfect. Cut. All right. If you got it, that would have been an easy lay. Good pass. See, that's smart basketball right there. You ain't got to settle for the three. Step in two. That's the same drill we just did. You don't even notice it. You rip, dribble, dribble, shoot, pull up shot. Textbook. We've been doing that drill at practice. Rip, step, shoot. See, the drills work. Rip, step, shoot. All day. Another one. Rip, step, shoot. That's it. That's the drills we do. You gotta make it work in the game.
Got to swing the ball. Cut, 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 cut. We're not doing nothing if we swing and stand. You got to cut through there. Bryson is cutting through. All right? If you're going to cut through, Bryson, right here, you need to tell Caden to cut too. Have Caden come across. Right here, you cut through. That defense is too high. What really is, Bryson, you should have just went in and took off right here. When you took off, he saw you. All right? Really? Put it at the spot right here, Mason. He already cut it. Put it at the spot right here. He cut it. Give it to him. All right? Try to, try to zip it through there. Try to, we got to try it. Okay? So when we cut through right here, Katie, you see him cut. Seal that. Set the screen right there, Bryson. And Kaden, then you cut through. Then you cut through. Even if we get that pass, boom. He passed it. That's fine. Cut. 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 We're not doing nothing to the defense. Don't cut. All right? Another thing is we got, that's including all my fours. All right? All the fours. Y'all keep wanting to rotate to the top. I meant to say that earlier. All right? Right here, it's, it, they look like they running. Man, it was a 2-3, but now he's stepping up. All right, if you ain't going to cut, go set this screen right here. Go set this screen. Then we just pretty much ran X without running. We got a seal right here where the point guard would normally seal if Bryson turned the seal. Then we got a screen right here. Normally, whoever's right here at the free throw will set this screen. The man with the ball will go over. The guard will stay wide. We already got it set up. Just set this screen. Attack this room right here. There's no way you shouldn't beat this person one-on-one -on -one matchup. All right? Set the screen. We cleared it. Just cleared it. Don't settle for a jump shot. Attack the rim. Attack the rim. We play some aggressive defense, but we got to make sure we're in our right position as well, too. Having aggressive defense won't be good if they pass through that aggressiveness. If they pass the ball more, right now, we played against a team that like to dribble, just like we do. We got to get used to passing the ball. Passing the ball. Passing the ball. Set up, set up. Right here, if you want to take this lane, tell Caden to go through. If you're going to take that lane, tell Caden to go through to clear this up. We already got it clear to Caden move his man. All right, no, but not every time. All right, you can still swing the ball, but if you're looking for a clear, because that defender can't keep up with you, we don't figure that out already. So tell Caden to go ahead and go through, go ahead and go through, wave him through, and then attack. Because you can't attack. Do not attack the rim when you got a defender right here. All right? If you're going to attack the rim, then you got to know that your second move is to kick out. See, look. You drive. Boom. He, he, the defender come to you. Either dribble low through there or go ahead and kick it back to Caden. As soon as Caden get it, Caden, you can drive. Kick it to Bryson. If this defender don't come, the defender come to you. All right, you kick the Bryson. If he don't come to you, go ahead and drive and finish. All right. It's an aggressive move. Make our free throws. Good.
Great throws, Tyshawn. Pick up your dribble. Right here. We got to make sure that we set a screen that is on a person, right? Not in space. I've seen that a lot in this film. We set a screen just in the space. No, we got to set it on that person and seal. Right here. We got to seal. Slide right here and seal. We still look like, well, that's not the X play. But we can seal that. This defender is not even paying attention. We got a seal. All right, seal. Screen and roll. We're going to work on that a lot. And do not bring your defender. You see a man dribbling? Don't bring your defender right here. Don't bring your defender right here unless you're asking for the ball. If you see, if you see your teammate coming to the ball, just go ahead and give it. Because if you don't get it, the defender is going to take it. See right here. Just go ahead and give, all right, and then we attack with our left hand. We got to be able to give the ball right there. All right, they poked it free. We got to play smarter basketball. We're not even running the play no more. Everybody got to know the play. He said box. We got, a, we got one person ceiling. For one, we're not even in box. All right, everybody need to know the play. All right, on box, the four or the five do not start at the box. They start at the top. The guards start at the box. The opposite guard will come on the outside, work his way to the middle. The ball side guard will go through the middle and then work his way to this corner. When you go through the middle, you will seal the screen. Well, no. Whoever on this side will set a screen so that way you can free up to come here. All right, so on this side, whoever at the top, which should be a four or five, setting a screen for the one, the point guard. Then a point guard come. On this side, the two is setting a screen for the four. So the four can come right here. So Bryson Isles will be right here at the goal. Set the screen so the four can come around. It's a very simple, easy play. We need to make sure we run it every time until another team pick up on it. Because right there is an unnecessary turnover. Right there, just go out of bounds. All right, look, you got too many people right there. Just go ahead and take it out of bounds. My four and five, get back on defense. Don't even try to get on the ball. Get back on defense. Get back on defense so they don't just score easy. Right there. You, right there. We playing aggressive defense. You see he got inside. Right there, step and block. All right, step and block. If you right here on the goal, step and contest. We didn't have no contest right here. Go contest. Don't just look at somebody scoring. We don't want that. Don't look at them scoring. Go contest. Go contest. We should have had a block right there. He froze right there. Go help. We've been pressing up on these uh, team this whole time. Right here, go help. Go help. Right here, we don't need to look. Get down there and help. Get to this backside. Because if we help, he can't see this man if we go help. Don't worry about him. You ain't going to be able to see him if we go help and put our hands up. That's too easy. That's too easy. We can't have that. We can't have that. We got to be aggressive every time. Good screen that time. Good. See, get to the rim. See, when you seal that screen on the man, he get to the rim. See, the man had to go under. Easy. But we can still seal it better. Get on his back hip right here. A, you over pursue just a little bit. Just get on the back hit right there. He tried to reach. It's over for him. Reach, teach. Right there. Seal the screen. 
He didn't even know the screen was coming. Set a screen. We got a complete lane. Easy layup. Beat him off the dribble. That's it. We got to start beating these uh, teams off the dribble. They turn their hips, beat them off the dribble. We're playing a high 3-2 in this game. Sometimes we have to play a low 3-2. There we go. Get over there. Close out. Close out. Close out. Good eyes. Way to see it. Cover middle first and then see the bell out. Good. See the options where they can throw it. Yeah, and a lot of y'all be bending over in the game and stuff. Tired. Y'all need to go ahead and get a sub. Shot, but don't settle for the jump shot. Let's set something up. Okay. We up by we up 24-6 right now. We want to try to set stuff up too. It was a good shot. Hand down, man down. Take it. Okay. Still gotta see what else is open too. That's not good defense right there. We don't have no pressure right there. They running. Two things. We in a 3-2, not a 2-3. So a point man should have been right here. We got to know who's point man. It's going to be either Pharrell or Aiden, whoever. Right now, it shouldn't be Pharrell because the we have a Noah down here, the big. For one, you too high. Are we run a man or something? We shouldn't be running man. It looked like we run a man because there is no way – then my big should be way up here. We got the three right here. Hold on. Where's the ball? Nope. Okay. I see it now. So the point man was way over there. Gave up the middle. Can't have that. You got to sit back. I see you now. You got to sit back. Ain't no point of going all the way up there. Let me see the play before that. Yeah. Okay. We was pressing. Okay, we was pressing. Okay. All right. All right, this is just a busted defense, but we still got to defend it. Still got to defend it. Okay. Yeah, why y'all just standing there? Y'all just let him do his thug sizzle. That was only 17 8. to finish. just the first half. That's how we need to be watching film. Freezing, seeing things, actually trying to figure out what would be better work if option one didn't work, option two. If option two didn't work, would it be your option three? 
So when you're going through your film study and looking at your film, that's what you want to look at. You don't want to just be looking at highlights. You want to see what we can clear up and what mistakes was made and that we need to um, adjust when we get to practice. So I will see everybody in practice. Y'all go ahead and get y'all notes. Thursday, I will be asking for y'all notes on um, this game film. I will remind y'all at practice. And I will be asking for your notes on Thursday. All right.